Hi, my name is Jim Merle and I'm just going to demo the uh, SIM disk image module uh, that I've just put up on the PowerShell gallery. Um, it does require um, elevated rights, so run as administrator is mandatory. And because it's on the PowerShell gallery, we can just quickly install it like that. Don't really need to import it, but we can do. And we can have a look. We've actually just got three commandlets within this module. Um, we can get help on the individual uh, commandlets and we can go online and get help there as well. So let's see what it does. So this just happens to be a .sim file, which is a disk image I've created. And that's just putting the path in a variable. And I don't have an X drive at the moment, so I'm gonna try and mount it to my X drive. And we've taken the image path and the drive letter as um, parameters to mount sim disk image there. And all I'm going to do is just have a look inside that path right now. And there we go. We can also use get sim disk image. This will get all of the disk images on the system. Only happens to be one because we just mounted one. And we can just pipe that into dismount sim disk image as well. There we go. And if we do get sim disk image again, now we see we don't have any. And we don't have to mount to a drive letter. We can mount to a directory as well. So there is the mount point directory. Now we do need to create this directory, which we've just done there. And now let's see if we can mount to the directory. So we've now mounted that same sim file to the directory. And we can have a look inside there. Perfect and we can see that that is there we can dismount we don't have to get sim disk image dismount we can actually do get sim in disk get sim disk get sim instanced even um class 9 32 volume and filter on simfs and then we can pipe that to dismount sim disk image and that will dismount it as well. We can prove that by doing that. And we could also prove it by doing that. And um, if we use the pass through parameter, we're actually going to get the results of the mount and we're going to store that in mount info. Let's have a look inside that. We get the device ID, the file system, the path and the GUID that was used to create that device ID. If we do get sim disk image, we can see We've got that device ID and then we can use that device ID that we got to man info. We can either pipe that into dismount um, or we can use the device ID as parameter and we can see we've no longer got any SIM files mounted to the system. Thanks for taking a look at this quick demo. See you next time.